welcome to my OpenCV tutorial on combine people detection and tracking. So here we will combine the code from the last two videos, which was the multiple object tracking and the people detection algorithm. So to do this video, you need the multiple object tracking code, which is this one, as well as the people detection code we did in the last video. So go ahead and see those videos to get to this point or just download them from the description. Okay, so let's go to the people descript sorry, people detection code and let's just copy this function to the author code because we will need it and just put it on top here on top of the main like so. So what we want to do is is to replace this manual selection of targets or objects with uh, automatic detection with the histogram of oriented granites. So you can go ahead and delete these two lines and this check can be also deleted. Okay, so now from people detection, just copy the initialization of the hog descriptor as well as the detection, like so, copy, and just paste it here in the same place. So now we initialize the histogram of variance credits and do a detection of people inside frame actually, because we read the first frame here. Okay, so now we have the detections here, and now we want to initialize the multi-tracker with the detections, so we just loop through it, so detection, detections, and like so. And let's also use the resize boxes function, because if you remember the histogram of oriented gradients, returns sometimes a little bit too big boxes. So let's just do like this and give detection as the argument inside there. Okay, we get an error and let's see what was it. Ah, yes, of course. So we had a const here, so you cannot modify a const. So let's just delete that and everything should be okay. So let's press F5 and see what happens. Okay, uh, the video runs, but there's no tracking going on. And that's because at the beginning of the video, there was no people on the video. So it couldn't kind of detect anything and therefore it couldn't initialize any trackers. And I guess this is a normal situation and can happen. And also sometimes people get off this of the frame and of course you don't want to track those people anymore. So what we want to do is every 10, maybe 15 frames to reinitialize the multi-tracker with the new set of detections. So let's do that. So let's go here and write int frame number, sorry, number equals one, because we already just read the first frame here. And we all always read a new frame here. So let's put frame number plus plus. So in every loop, we increase the frame number by one. And let's do a reinitialization of the multi-tracker every 15 frames. So let's do write if frame number and the modulus operator 15 equals zero. So this will be accessed every 15 frames. So first, we want to clear the detections. So detections dot clear. So we basically just remove whatever is inside this vector. And then we want to do the detection again. So we can just copy this part here. Detect multiscale. And we have the detections there. And unfortunately, the multi tracker cannot be cleared as such. So we have to do a little bit, I would say, ugly piece of code here. So let's just uh, create completely new multi-tracker. So copy this one, copy, and paste it here. And you can name it multi-tracker temp, for example, like so. And then the multi-tracker equals multi-tracker temp. temp like so. So not the prettiest code, but this is the only way I managed to get the multi-tracker kind of reinitialized. Okay, and then we want to just do this thing again. So 
basically reinitialize the multi tracker with the new detections. So let's do that after here, like so. And we can actually make a else here. So if it's not every 15 frame, we just want to update the multi tracker normally. So just keep tracking whatever is tracking already. Okay, and I think that should be it. And like I said before, you can of course try to play with these detection values to get better results. Okay, let's run it and see if it works. Okay, and it detected this woman going off the screen. Okay, and another detection. Now behind the car, so no detections. And some false detection here is quite okay. Okay, and as you can see, every 15 frames there's a small delay and because it reinitialized the tracker, so that's a little bit slow. If you have a faster computer, maybe you have faster code. Ah, and here all the five people we detected correctly. So as you can see, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. The detections get reinitialized. Sorry, the trackers get ranged less every 15 frames with the new people detection. Yeah, I think it's a pretty, pretty decent code. This is, of course, probably not the smartest way to combine detection and tracking, but it's, I think, rather simple and, I guess, quite simple, easy to understand. It's not too bad. Okay, thank you for watching this video and hope to see you later in the next one.